clear line has been drawn by Blizzard today. Because what happened in the last few hours has been further changes from Blizzard in terms of balancing to WoW Remix and to some of the Tinker Gems and the Meta Gems in WoW Remix. Now, while the Tinker Gem changes might not be too major, in fact, most of these are not you know, particularly meaningful. If anything, actually, they're pretty decent buffs because Searing Light now can convert more of your healing into damage, as well as Fervor and Arcanist Edge now being twice as effective. These are pretty good while leveling and kind of uh, meh at max level. The only real change being the nerf to slay, <laughs> the very popular Tinker Gem, can no longer crit and also will no longer be scaling and inheriting all of your damage modifiers, all of your crit chance, all of your versatility and damage bonuses from your own class and spec, etc, etc. So now Slay will always basically only be as strong as your max HP. So if you have a million HP, your Slay is only going to be doing at best 1 million HP. We also had a few other meta gems, again, not very relevant given that these meta gems weren't already popular to begin with, like Funeral Pyre, Chigi, and Soul Tether. Where was the main change in terms of meta gem is, of course, to, you guessed it, Ward of Salvation. Ward of Salvation now lasts 8 seconds instead of 10. More importantly, only the player who uses the ward is going to have his own healing increasing the absorb size of Ward of Salvation. Now, initially, of course, this looks like a problem, because now, if you are a mage, a rogue, a warlock, a warrior, anyone that cannot heal, basically won't really get that much value from Ward of Salvation anymore. However, players didn't even have time to point out how much of a nerf this was, that a workaround to this has already been found. As you can see, in the post nerf results of Word of Salvation, Word of Salvation is still doing just fine. Now, what causes this to be doing just fine? Well, players have realized that somehow, <laughs> yes, this is gonna be pending also a hotfix, but somehow, Lifestorm. We had a video a few days ago, Lifestorm is also a part of your Word of Salvation strat. Lifestorm little flower blooming circles that you can get healed by actually count as your own healing. So even if some other dude runs Lifestorm, if you stand yourself inside of one of those flowers and get healed, that will be your own healing. So the very simple strat now is to still have roughly half the raid running ward and half the raid running Lifestorm, except now players with the ward simply use ward on themselves. And then the other half of the raid uses Lifestorm and the players with ward stand on top of the flowers of the Lifestorm, which will get them healed for millions upon millions upon millions, which will then get stored into the ward, blow up and do a ton of damage. So even after the nerfs, at least for now, until Lifestorm also gets fixed, World of Salvation is still a plenty viable strat to have in the raid. However, that's not the line that we were talking about that Blizzard drew in WoW Remix. The line is the comments Blizzard had towards the statement about item upgrading. This is something we have heard already pretty much since the beginning of the event, even actually from when the event was testable months ago. The question that, you know, the cost of bronze for your gear is very high to get to max item level. To get to max item level 556, you require roughly 550,000 bronze for all of your slots. So it was essentially, it was essentially a game of maths. You had to look at how much time you had available every day, how much time you had until the end of the event, so some, some 82, 83 days left, and wondering, okay, if I were to dump some 500,000 bronze now, becoming essentially a god in Remix, would I be able to do whatever I am doing already, but faster? Or would I be able to have access you know, to heroic raids or to mythic Siege of Orgrimmar because of my item level and gain so much more bronze that I can make up the fact that I spent 500,000 of this bronze for my gear upgrades? 
and Blizzard made this sentiment clear by saying, looking forward, we want you to know that we do not plan to change the bronze cost of upgrading gear. They point out that we have already seen many players make the decision. They make the decision to upgrade items so that they can comfortably take on heroic raids or even mythic Siege of Orgrimmar. And these gains in power that come with increasing your item levels are exponential, not linear. So it's not that one item level equals 1% more damage and two item levels is 2% more damage and three item levels is 3% more damage. You become exponentially much, much stronger the more item level you gain in this, uh, in this mode. So Blazer says we don't want anyone to second guess their decision to become much more powerful, right? So getting to max item level isn't giving you 10% more damage or 15% more damage and being able to be, you know, slightly stronger, it gives you, you know, 10,000% more damage. You become almost unkillable and you two-shot everything, etc., etc. And Blizzard is pointing out what we said, that this allows players to have different strategies on how they want to earn their bronze. For players who primarily wish to gather bronze, and all of the cosmetic rewards available in Remix, some of them have the option of doing it through raids. So you can, if you want to get it through raids, get yourself into high item level, get access into heroic raids and into mythic Siege of Orgrimmar to get a lot of bronze that way. However, there are other players who, for example, are speed running alts, because getting to max level with an alt gives you 40,000 bronze plus some 20,000 bronze from actually, you know, doing activities as you level, plus all of the achievement rewards you might be getting on your alts, because the all of the bronze caches you get from achievements are actually given to you on multiple characters. Even if you are re-earning the same achievement on multiple times on multiple different characters, the cache of bronze you get from the achievement is still there. So if you find yourself a pretty good strategy to max multiple characters, that's gonna be, you know, 70 to 80,000 bronze every time you get a character to max level. And if you can get a character to max level in, say, four hours, that starts being some 20,000 bronze per hour that you are earning. And then also the other activity of having multiple characters at max level completing the daily quests and daily activities every day because of the front-loaded reward of the bronze cash by doing dailies 1,250 from your daily heroic dungeons and scenarios, etc, etc. So Blizzard is saying there is no need to change this current situation. Clearly, players who are getting bronze by leveling multiple alts don't need to have the upgrade gear cost discounted because you are gearing multiple alts, so you don't really care about upgrading the gear. Characters who are doing dailies also shouldn't care too much about upgrading gear because daily normal scenarios, daily normal dungeons or daily heroic scenarios and daily heroic dungeons can be done in 5 to 10 minutes. They can be speedrun quite easily. On top of that, these are still completely broken in terms of scaling. So rather than finding yourself with a max item level character, you can instead find yourself with a level 12 Holy Priest, somehow one-shotting everything because the scaling is broken. So you don't even need to get someone in your group with max level. But you don't benefit too much from that either. And then you have the last category of earning bronze, which is in the harder raids. And that is when it's valuable to upgrade your gear, but that is also where you can find more bronze from heroic raiding and also from mythic Siege of Orgrimmar. A Blizzard feels this is already an okay split of choices for you to go for once you get to max level in WoW Remix, either continue to level multiple alts for bronze, continue to do dailies on multiple characters for bronze, or step into harder difficulty of raids where you want to upgrade your gear to be able to do them more smoothly. And that is going to be up to you. You know, this one, for example, is roughly all of the available bronze from completing all the raids in heroic difficulty. So Siege, Throne of Thunder, Terrace of the Ender Springs, and Heart of Fear, and Mogushan Vaults can give you almost 50,000 bronze every day in heroic. In normal, this is going to be about 30,000, 32, 33,000. So by being able to get one step higher, by being able to upgrading from normal to heroic, you will be gaining about 17 or so thousand bronze more every day from doing these raids. So you have to spend about 500,000 bronze to get yourself into god tier territory. 
So you get yourself in a minus 500,000 deficit, but then you are earning 17,000 more per day because you are smoothly doing heroic raids with that gear, which means earning 17,000 more per day means that in a month, in a month of doing this, you will get back all of the 500,000 bronze you spent by actually buying and upgrading your gear. So after the first month where you were running at a deficit because of the investment you made, right? You went to the bank and you asked a 500,000 bronze investment to get yourself the gear. After a month of paying back that investment, you can start going into the positive, into earning more bronze than someone who didn't spend all that bronze into gear. And to Blizzard, this is fine, right? There are players who don't want to get themselves into a deficit, don't want to spend all of their bronze, but would rather continue to earn more bronze by doing dailies or by leveling multiple characters. They don't care too much for upgrading gear. So they think this is a, a, an even adequate, you know, balanced split in terms of costs of upgrading your gear. The cost of bronze for upgrading your gear is still okay. It still allows players to go for other strategies to earn pretty good bronze. You're not forced to do this. You're not forced to spend hundreds of thousands of bronze to upgrade your gear as the only way to earn bronze quickly. Doing dailies on multiple characters is still very good and likely still more efficient than simply farming raids. Even leveling multiple characters is still quite efficient without the need for you to upgrade your gear. It's just a matter in the end of containing your jealousy or containing your spite whenever you see a decked out character two-shotting everything and being jelly that you are not. But that in the end is just your decision because you can do that yourself. You can dump all of your bronze to become like that and you will still be able to earn eventually bronze over time to make up for the bronze you spent by upgrading your gear. That just includes, however, getting into heroic raids. But if you don't like to raid, then it's not something you should be interested in, and you should be okay doing whatever you're doing right now, like dailies or leveling multiple characters, which are still fine ways to earn bronze. So with this statement and this disclaimer out of the way from the changes to some of the gems in WoW Remix and also the mission statement of Blizzard, vowing not to nerf the cost of upgrading your gear in Remix for the time being. So with this out of the way on this Thursday, we are now leaving each other. We're starting the goodbyes by thanking all of the Patreon supporters for the contribution and the help to the growth of the channel, which can, as usual, still be given completely for free. You can like and comment down below, as well as subscribe to the channel itself. Now, with these things out of the way, thank you guys again for watching. See you guys tomorrow, and in the meantime, I am, I am in the slow and steady camp. I am going to just do my dailies on a few characters and get my bronze in time with a month left to the end of the event so I can get into the war within beta without having to worry about remix.